Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna clean piston carbon builder from this to this without using any expensive tool like I did on my previous video. So I'm just gonna use a can of carb cleaner only. We're gonna start with removing this cover so you can remove the ignition coils and then the spark plugs. You don't have to do these steps, I'm just doing that to use my endoscope camera to show you the before and after videos. I had some comments and emails from previous video, how to do that without using any cleaning kit. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right, the ignition coils out and doing the spark plugs with using 16 millimeter long socket. There is not much carbon buildup on the spark plugs, but they wear it out. I will do a detailed video how to read spark plugs very soon. So stay tuned for that. Next, let's use endoscope camera to see how much carbon buildup you have on the pistons before doing cleaning process. All right, entering cylinder number one from spark plug hole. So much carbon buildup on the piston edge. Cylinder number two, same, only on the edges. Here are the other two cylinders. Leaving carbon buildup on the piston edge for a long time will scratch the cylinder wall and cause the engine burn oil and smoke, and the engine will need rebuilding. Okay, now we saw how it was before cleaning. We're gonna put everything back so we can run the engine. If you don't have a torque wrench, a quarter turn like this is enough for tightening the spark plugs. Okay, spark plugs on, next ignition coil. Don't worry if you mix the ignition coils, which one goes to which cylinder, they are all the same. The only time you don't have to mix the ignition coils when you see one cylinder different than the other, like there is more carbon, or if you have a check engine light and misfiring code to one cylinder. So you can find whether if the spark plug, fuel injector, or the ignition coil causing the problem. For cleaning, we're gonna run the engine and spray carb cleaner from PCV vacuum hose. But it's not gonna be from this side because it goes to mass airflow sensor, throttle body, and the carb cleaner will damage them. So we're not gonna use this side. The other PCV hose under this cover, which goes directly to intake manifold and then combustion chamber. That's the vacuum hose we're gonna need to spray carb cleaner. Next, we will need a straw like this, insert it in the hose, and then put the hose back again. Okay, now we are ready for cleaning process. Let's turn the engine on and let it reach idling temperature. The engine is warm at the idling temperature. I'm gonna use my torque wrench to hold the RPM on 2000. Now we can attach the carb cleaner and spray it like that. You can use a half can and you will have a good result. Or you can use a whole can for better cleaning. I just sprayed half can of carb cleaner. Let's see how much it will clean. Remove the torque wrench on the gas pedal. By doing that, it will push any carb cleaner that live in the intake manifold. Let's remove the straw and go for a ride. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna remove the ignition coil and the spark plug just to show you the cleaning result. I'm gonna remind you again, you don't have to do that. The moment of truth entering cylinder number one looks like it removed a good amount of carbon only with a half can. You can also use a whole can for better result. And here are the other pistons. The cleaning process works really good, just like the cleaning kit I used on my previous video. After doing this cleaning, I recommend changing engine oil and the filter. So that's for this video, if the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one, bye for now.